Hello, this is Mike. Welcome to Programming PHP, uh, video 15. And today we're going to wrap up lesson 1. And we're going to do that discussing Booleans, typecasting, and constants. So if you've done any game programming before, you realize how important Booleans are. Booleans basically will check if something's been hit. So if you shoot something, it's been hit, it sets a Boolean flag. Or if you press a button or go through a door, you set a Boolean flag. So you'll be setting Boolean flags constantly in whatever you do. And uh, the neat thing about Booleans is there's only two values, it's true and false. And there's a whole history about Boole and his father-in-law, who was very disappointed in him as a mathematician, had created a number system with only two values, 0 and 1. And in this case, you just declare a variable, and you set that variable to true or false. And what I want to actually do is actually print those variables out and show you what I get. So just remember, I've set A to true, and I've set uh, B to false. So let's run the program and see what happens. So when I run the program and the value that I set equal to true, it prints out as a 1. But the value I set equal to false actually prints out as nothing. Now you would think it would print out as 0, but it prints out as nothing. That's very important to keep in mind. So let's go back to our code. So I've actually talked about two values, true and false, but there's actually a third value, and that's null. And if you hadn't set your Boolean to anything, it's actually set to a value of null. It means it hasn't been set. So there's an important commands working with variables determining if they're set or not set, and that's the isSet variable, and that can tell me if something's been set or not. And if something's been set, I can actually unset it by using the unset variable. So what I'm going to do is set my is set right here, see if A is set and B is set, and I've set them to true and false, so I should get a 1 for that. But now let me unset A and see what I get when I do an is set. So let's go ahead and run this. And we see for the first value it says 1 is set and 1 is set, but now it's, when I unset it, I get nothing once again. So when a variable has not been set, it's null, you get that nothing for is set. Now let me just set them real quick. There's another uh, check and that says is something empty and that's the same as it being a null. So let's go ahead and take a look at that command. So I can actually check to see if a variable is empty. Now you gotta be careful with this because typically you're gonna get a 1 if it's null or if it's 0 or it's false because so whatever output that nothingness in a sense will actually uh, be checked as empty and even the numerical value 0 is empty so you gotta be careful this is not a command that you want to depend on when you definitely want to check if something's just null because if it's got a zero or false in it, then you actually get uh, that it does have a value. It has been set. So, And finally, if you actually just want to set something to null, all you do is say equals null with the value N-U-L-L. -L. Now, let me say this is so important. If you do graphics work like I do, a lot of 3D graphics, when you're clearing the stage, you are commonly taking all your variables and removing everything from arrays, getting everything off the display set, and finally at the end you're setting all your variables to null. You don't want any things in those variables, you want them unset. Or you have the possibilities when you run your 3D graphics again of having those variables in those, uh, or having things in your variables, which is bad news. So you're going to be using this null a lot more than you think when it comes to working with graphical systems. Now I want to make one more point. I've actually used two types of notation for actually echoing things on the screen. When I want to actually get some words in there, make it human readable, I actually use a quote and I use a dot to concatenate whatever value it is. But I've also could have used my curly bracket convention. I like this curly bracket convention. It actually does the same thing as a dot, but it actually is more human readable and it's more of what Flash Builder would do. So you'll see both of these are the same equivalent expressions for outputting things with text. But the curly brackets is more like Flash Builder, which we'll eventually be talking about as this series goes on. So I've talked about a lot of uh, Boolean and, and I talked about this idea of setting and unsetting. And really what all this means is when you start talking about when you talk about setting and unsetting, you're actually beginning to talk about the concept of typecasting. So let's move on down to typecasting and see what we're doing. PHP does a great job of typecasting. And what that means is it figures out what type of type it's working with. And you got you can actually switch types, go between them. Now in the early days of Flash, it actually did this as well. But now with Flash the way it is now, everything is typecast, everything is strict typed. But in this particular case, PHP is still very loose. So I can put a string in here, and I know it's a string because it's in quotes. So I have my variable equal to 5, but it's a string 5. Then I'm going to plus equal it to a number 10. And PHP is going to actually figure out what that is. And I'm going to output this so you can see my number is. And so it's actually going to take a string, and it's going to add to it 10 and return it as a number. Isn't that incredible? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's run the program. So there it is right here. It took my string 5, added it to my number 10, and gave me 15. So PHP is really cool in that way. It's very loose, but sometimes you have to be careful. And sometimes you need to make sure that you're working with a particular type. 
Now, if you come from a very strict type background now with Java or C++ or now with uh, ActionScript 3, you're probably not going to make this mistake. But every once in a while, you need to switch something to a string or to an integer. And PHP will normally do that for you automatically. But if it doesn't, you need to be aware that you can use commands to actually change type. Let's look at those change type commands real quick. You can actually change the type of command by using this set type command. And all you do is put your variable in there and this type that you want to change it to. Another way to do this, which is more like strict typing, is that you'd actually take your variable and actually put a integer, string, or whatever in front of it, and that changes the type as well. So that's two ways of changing type. Just be aware, and you actually can check type to see what kind of type you have. Here, for example, so in this example right here, we're checking type. So is it an array? Is it a bool? Is it an integer? Is it a null? Is it numeric? Is it a string? Let's go ahead and work through this example and see what we're going to output. What I'm looking at is the variable my variable c. What is that actually? Well, if right here, I've actually set my variable c what? To an integer. I've strict typed it over to an integer. So the only one of these that should give me out anything is this right here. That should be a 1, and everything else should be nothing. Let's run this and see what happens. So I'm going to scroll down to the example. And here I get, is it is it a uh, array? No. So I get nothing. Is it a bool? Nothing. Is it an integer? Yes. Is it a null? No. See, I'm getting nothings. But here, it's numeric. So I forgot that one. Yes. Uh, it's an integer is a numeric value and is it a string and you get nothing so wherever it is what it is you get a one and if not you get nothing I want to talk about one more topic real quick and that's constants uh, and constants are extremely useful once again I work with a lot of 3d graphics so many times I have that one important constant to declare and that is that pi conversion so if you're aware of flash uh, the math uh, function takes radians but people think in terms of degrees so radians is not a human readable uh, number so I actually want to have this conversion constant so I'm always converting degrees to radians so I can put that into my math functions in flash so to find a constant I just use the word define my constant is in all caps and then I just put my constant so that's the method for doing that uh, just a few things real quick here when you work with constants you don't have a dollar sign just keep that in mind and if you try to add or do any type of mathematical conversion on a constant, you're going to get an error. You cannot change a constant value once it's been set. But the neat thing about constants, you use that constant over and over again, and then once again, it won't change and it saves computer memory for you. Let's go ahead and run this example. And what I'm going to do is pretty much I've defined these two constants using the define command, and I'm just going to print them out. Okay? So let's go ahead and run the code. And here's my constants right here. My max depth is 1024, which is a bit map number. And here's my pi conversion, which I use over and over again whenever I run code uh, in 3D graphics. So uh, that's really all there is to constants. Uh, we've wrapped up this whole PHP session. But yet, you know what, guys? We can't do anything. Isn't that weird? No, we've got to move on to control logic. And once we get into if statements and looping, the world is at your fingertips. So I'll see you next time in Lesson 2. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.